Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey folks, we're back. Inside Real Estate, Mike Krasinga here. Time for some mortgage talk. We got Terry Wagner here live in studio. Uh, Terry, how are we doing today? I'm good, Mike. How are you? I'm good. Good? Good to see you. Good to see you. You've been good out. to be seen. You had, had a vacation there, <laughs> yeah. so that was good. Yeah. We had a little time off, so... Well, what, uh, what's going on in the mortgage world today? Well, I wanted to talk um, a little bit about credit. We talked about credit in a while. Uh, okay. We've talked about specific loan programs. But in order to qualify for some of these programs that we have, you have to uh, we have to analyze your credit. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that and give some people, uh, give the people some, just some ideas of what they need to be working on, what they can be working on if they know they want to buy in the distant future, you know, things to kind of be watching out for. Okay, very good. Um, so credit scores range from 300. Never seen a 300, though. I'm just going <laughs> to tell you, I've never seen a 300. But but supposedly they range from 300 to 850. I have seen some pretty close to 850, which is awesome. I love seeing those. That is great. But uh, usually... Usually, seven hundred in the seven hundreds is is a good credit score, so we can. And, and we're not laughing if you do have a three hundred, no, because no. guess what? We can rapidly get you from a three hundred. Fix that all the way up to where you need to be. <laughs> That's right. We can do loans down to five eighty credit score, um, but but it takes a little bit to get you from a three hundred to an five eighty. So it might we need be a to get longer. worked on working on it now. Yes, call yeah. right now. Call right now. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so there are some that don't have any credit scores. If you don't have a credit score, we have to generate you a credit score. We can't do a loan without without a credit score. Need something. So but but we can we can help you with that as well. If you don't have a credit score, give me a call. We will come up with ways to hopefully create a credit score for you. We've got some ideas and some things that we can help you with on that. So typically there are three credit scores, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. You don't have to have a score on all three of those, um, but if you have three scores, we're going to take the middle score as your qualifying score. So you have a 700, a 650, and a 600. 650 is your mid-qualifying score. They're typically not going to be that varying, but um, you can have one score that's really low and two that aren't. Um, if you have a collection account, maybe that's just reporting on one credit reporting bureau or one. something like that, it'll lower that one score. Yeah. So that's the good news. If it's just reporting to one, we, we use the middle of your three scores. If you have two scores, we use the lowest of those two scores. And then if you just have one credit score, that is your qualifying score. A lot of people, when they go to look at their credit report, and, and Mike, I absolutely recommend that everyone do this once a year whether you're looking to buy a house or not go to freecreditreport.com annualcreditreport.com there's several of them out there Mm -hmm. don't pay for it it's not necessary for you to pay to get a copy of your credit report right don't pay to get your score because the scores are not going to be valid really anyway they're the scores that you pay for are a joke they're nowhere close to what we would pull if we were pulling your credit exactly so but but absolutely check your credit once a year and and that's a good point not to just focus on the score because right. we've gotten so trained i think maybe through through media to a degree to just focus on the score but you you're right you need to pull the report because right. you need to see actually what's on it line by line that's exactly correct and and if you're i'm going to Throw this plug in there, too. If you're dealing with a mortgage loan officer that's not an experienced mortgage loan officer, that's all they're going to look at, too, is your credit score. Oh, yep, you got a 650. We're good. Let's go. Well, there may be something on your credit report that's going to hold you back, even with a 650 credit score. Right. So um, make sure that you're dealing with someone that is going to take a look at your full report, not just the credit score. Right. So, so you pull your credit report, um, and there are some items on there that aren't yours that you don't want on there. Maybe they're yours, but you want to say they're not yours, so you dispute them, okay? <laughs> Disputes hurt you as well. Seriously. So, yes, they do. And I'll tell you why, Richard. Disputes take that account out of the scoring model. Well, an underwriter knows that that account is not in the scoring model, and you have to prove that that's not really your account or remove the dispute. So we could have an artificial 650. 
Okay. Okay. And then we have to remove the dispute and the credit score goes down and then we can't do your loan. Right. But this is how other people used to increase your credit score to that get is you correct. qualified for the that loan. That is correct. Yes. Okay. But but the underwriters are wiser now <laughs> than they were years ago. I, I, I used to tell my customers to do that in all honesty. Yeah, just go dispute everything. And it artificially raised your credit score. But you can't do that anymore. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't no work more. that way anymore. So um, there are depending on the number of disputes and the dollar amount. So again, give me a call. Let's talk about the specifics before you start disputing everything on your credit report. If you're looking to purchase in the next few months. Yeah, because people can seriously, I mean, there's some things with your credit that are counterintuitive. For example, you know, closing an account, people are like, Oh, I'm going to close an account. That's right. going to do good for me. Uh, no, it's not. No, you need to just call Terry, talk to her, you know, and honestly, if you're not thinking about buying right now, but maybe in the future, just just talk to Terry anyway. It is a good idea, even if you're planning on buying in the next year or so, yeah. to give me a call. Let's look at credit right now. Let's pull credit right now and determine change. where we are. Yeah, things change all the time, and especially if, I mean, if you haven't, you know, if you've been in that house for seven, eight years, and you're gonna sell that one and move on. Hey, guess what? Getting a loan now is totally different than it was back then. Right. So. Exactly. Exactly. So, so let's pay attention to disputes. It, it, if something is legitimately not yours, then let's get it disputed and let's, get it off we'll before, deal we, it. before sure. we move forward. Yeah. Um, but a lot of times, I'll tell a customer, you know, they'll I'll pull their credit. We're ready to purchase in the next thirty days or so, and they have accounts on there that that's not mine. I don't know whose that is. You know, I've got a common name, and I'll tell them we're good. Leave it alone. Don't dispute it. I can get your loan where it is, and then after you close, you can go fix that problem. Right, deal okay? with that later. Right, right. So a credit report, when I pull a credit report for you, that credit report for the purpose of purchasing a home is good for 90 days. So if I pre-qualify you today and you don't find a home, which is entirely possible in this market, if you don't find a home in the 90 days, we potentially could have to pull your credit report again. Um, so we need to pay attention to while you're shopping for a home, not to be shopping for anything else. Yes. Don't go buy a car. Don't <laughs> get a new credit card. Don't get a gas card. Don't, don't, don't do any of that. No, nothing. Okay. Because part of our processing process is that we want to know on that credit report, it's going to give us everyone that's pulled your credit in the last 120 days and we need to know did you do you have any new debt from that that yeah. doesn't necessarily uh, show up are you out there looking and and here's another little key to this in on some loans if we pull your credit and everything is good we process your loan right before the end they could pull another credit report a what they call a soft pull to see if you have new credit inquiries if you have new credit inquiries and you went out and got a new car or a new credit card, we then have to include that new debt in your debt-to-income ratio, and that could hurt us a lot. Yeah, absolutely. That could kill your deal. Yeah, it could. So um, factors to consider uh, when we're looking at your credit report. This is what we're looking at. We're looking at the types and amounts of your outstanding credit. Uh, we're obviously looking at the credit history. How do you pay your debts? Are they paid on time? What is your available use of your credit? So in other words, if you have a credit card that has a $1,000 credit limit and you have it charged to $998, then you have no available credit and that's going to lower your score. Right. So we're going to we're gonna watch that as well. We're going to look at that. And we've talked about the new trended credit report, and maybe we'll touch on that next week again because mm -hmm. that's coming effective that's coming this up, month. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so we're going to now be looking at how much do you pay of that debt every month? Minimum dues. Right. So yep. that's going to, they, they say right now it's not going to go into your underwriting of your file, but at some point it's going to. Right. It's going to play. You into can't it. unsee what you've seen. Right. You know, right. if it's going to be there, the underwriter has to take it into some type of consideration. Right. So um, the last thing I want to talk about is, your public records and collection accounts, public records, most especially if you have judgments, tax liens, um, any of that, and you know, it's there to take care of it. Don't just leave it on there and hope it goes away. It's not going to go away. Um, a collection, I'm sorry, not a collection, a judgment or tax lien has to be taken care of and dealt with before you can buy a house.
Right. So if it's there, let's get a solution to it. Let's get it resolved. I have an issue that we're working with this week that there's a there's a judgment on this person's credit that the company was sold and the the new company that bought won't accept her money, but they also won't release the judgment. Mm. So we're we're in a we're stuck because right. we have to have that judgment removed. So let's pay attention to those public um uh, the the tax liens and judgments and let's make sure we take care of those before before we even start trying to look at a house yeah really yeah you gotta deal with that up yes. front yeah some of those things that are major you gotta deal with that stuff before you yes. even get started yes. absolutely we could talk about credit forever so. yeah absolutely well, well the key thing folks that to 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 think about is is when you're thinking about purchasing a home you want to start way out in advance anyway, yes. six months, a year. You may even want to call Terry, you know, 18 months before you're thinking thinking about it. And just kind of see what's going on in the market. You know, hey, here's my situation. Do you think there's anything in my situation that might cause a, a disruption, you know, an issue and getting the loan right away when I want it, when all of a sudden I want it? Because a lot of times you say you may be 18 months out, but guess what? In three months you might say, oh, well, maybe I'm going to sell now. Right. And people do that. And so you might as well just check in advance with Terry, see what's going on, see if there's anything in your file at all, your husband's file, wife's file, whatever the case may be that uh, you guys need to take care of. Right. And they can do an application right on my website. It's just terrywagoner.com. And that's W-A-G-G-O-N-E-R is the last name, terrywagoner.com. Yeah. You can apply right there, terrywagoner.com. And, uh, of course, you give out your cell phone I direct. Do. I so, do. I uh, sure do. Fire that away right quick for them. Yeah. 469 644 Four eight one eight, and I will answer your call and uh, be of any assistance to you that I can be. That's right, folks. Always give Terry a call for all your mortgage, refinance, Texas cash out needs, home equity, anything you can think of in the mortgage world. She's got you covered. You want to work with the best? Work with Terry Wagner over at Supreme Lending Rockwall. Hey, folks, we're going to take a short break and come on back. <laughs> 